Hi, this is Tanner from Electronics123.com and today we're going to continue our Arduino Inventor series by working on circuit number two and circuit two is the eight LED, uh, multiple LEDs lighting up in a row um, so let's take a look at basically how the circuit works Alright, looking here at the circuit, you can see basically what you have is you have eight LEDs, eight 330 ohm resistors, which are connected to the ground side of the LED, and then of course to ground on the connection. Uh, this whole string on the breadboard is connected to ground through this wire to the Arduino's ground. Um, and then a, each LED has a corresponding pin on the Arduino that it's connected to through these wires. And uh, basically you have to connect them in sequence, uh, to Arduino pins two through nine. Um, if you uh, if you get this all built and you're having any problems with it, uh, some of the common things that can go wrong: uh, LEDs are polarity sensitive. They have to be put in uh, the correct way around. If they're not put in the correct way around, um, you'll probably run into some problems. Uh, they won't light, or one you know something like that. If for some reason they're lighting out of sequence, uh, it's because you have this um, these, one of these wires is, is crossed or something like that so just go back and check that if you're really having any trouble with any of these circuits it's a good idea to just start from scratch it's too difficult to tra trace back you know your problems and so on so it's a good idea to just basically pull everything off put it all back on and see if it works the next time uh, so once this is all built we'll go ahead and connect it to the computer and upload the software okay now we'll take a quick look at the software um, the first thing you'll notice is uh, basically they create a new array, an array of integers called LED pins, and then it gives it the value of the pins uh, that each LED is connected to, 2 through 9. Uh, in the main setup loop, we uh, create a for statement here. And the for statement uh, basically selects all eight of those pins and ma makes them an output. Uh, this is a really efficient way to set every pin um, to the same mode. In the main loop, all we do is call on another method. And the reason they did that is because the software actually has a couple different modes. You could put it in by commenting this and uncommenting the other ones here. Um, but if we look at the one it's calling on, one after another, no loop, uh, and go down here to that method, you'll see that um, basically we digital write every pin on, wait for the delay time, which is this, and then we turn each one off in reverse order um, by setting them all to low. Uh, so it's basically uh, a relatively simple program. Um, the rest of the code is basically there to show you some different modes and you can play around with those all you want but for now we'll go ahead and upload that over to the board you should get a working kit that looks like this 